Hey guys, this is Junior Crater, and in this video, we are taking a look at Tesla stock guides. So let's do the price action, and most importantly, we'll go over what you saw in the thumbnail of this video, that why this could turn worse for Tesla stock. So why am I saying this? What am I seeing? We'll, we'll talk about all of that, guys, in this video. So please hit the like, subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. And also please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for educational purposes. Do your own due diligence in the market to make your own decisions. I take guarantee of nothing over here, all right? So talking of Tesla here, guys. So what are we seeing on the daily interval? Yes, we closed below 20 days moving average today, all right? We were trying to hold it above 20 days moving average from last two trading days. Now, yes, we are above 50 days moving average, okay? That's fine. We are above 175 as well, dollars, that's fine. But, but the reason I'm saying this could, this can turn worse is for the reasons that the sellers are not going away. So let me take you to the four hours interval. We are. So where are we seeing sellers? So Tesla, every time it tries to go up, right? And get sold off at $180 and above, right? You can see supply zone, supply zone, supply zone, supply zone, supply zone. Sellers are not letting it go, supply zone. Yeah, that's six, seven supply zones. That's worrisome. And that's the problem, right? This, I mean, Let's, if I show you it on the hourly interval, any pivot that is even being formed, even on intraday, it's just being broken. Like, it's just being very tough. Like, for a month, Tesla has done nothing but has just gone sideways. So, on top of the frustration on anyone who is trying to trade Tesla stock on the swing, I understand it, you know, um, this thing is getting sold off in the supply zone at 180 Every time I see a candle go above 180, excitement kicks in that this is the time it will stay above 180 and the very next hour, it just so sells off. And when it sells off, it's not even that it's able to hold a support somewhere up here. It just fails, it just plummets, right? And that's where the huge problem is. Yes, even today, we got a good buying at 175, Yeah, you know, not a problem, but you can still see that it's challenging because sellers are not letting it go. I get it, buyers are holding it, but in, you look at it, buyers are holding it for 175, but Tesla, if it's struggling when the market has been going up and Tesla has been struggling to go up with the market on the downside, Tesla is just by many fold increasing that magnitude on the downside. So yes, this is worrisome. Tesla is getting sold off and it's closed even below 200 hours moving average. So even though we are on the daily interval above 50 days moving average above $175, but this is a little bit hitting on the confidence on the downside that uh, there's just so much supply sitting at $180. Only thing that could save at this point Tesla that would bring a lot of maybe move to the upside would be uh, this Elon Musk's package. I think 13th or 11th of June, we'll get to know the final verdict or wordings on that. What, what did the shareholders vote for? What's the results are? So uh, yeah, um, that thing can only bring it above 180 without any catalyst. I'm just finding it hard to see getting above 180 at this point. And that's where the problem is because with this continuation of the sell-off, it doesn't matter even if you're still above those levels, these can eventually then break as well. So just be prepared okay things can get a little bit more worse for tesla uh, from here on if we are not able to close a day above 180 dollars from more than a month tesla has done nothing but just gone sideways and it's annoying and frustrating as well to see anything else that i have a, a, on tesla to talk about in this video yeah let's take a look at the intraday's place all right I would say as on the swing and the structure, it's 50-50, but bears are really, really standing strong at $180. That's that's what I, as for the swing overall structure I'm seeing, is anyone's game though, technically. There's, you know, sellers at 180, buyers at 175. It's anyone's game, but 
sellers looks much more stronger to me. All right, now, uh, having, having said that, though, uh, I want to talk about the intraday plays, right? So, yeah, we got one long play today, intraday. That's fine. We were expecting that. We were already in the bullish side. I was talking about that as well over the weekend. But now the things are, if Tesla can't go above 176 and 84 cents, uh, this is a point of rejection for it. If it can't go above, then this may fizzle down lower. If we can get above 200 hours moving average, there's again a chance of going to 180. But beyond that, I can't say much because I'm seeing this supply zone at 180 is quite a lot. Uh, we need a strong push and staying above that of 180 is very important before anything above that long play that could be played. All right, cool. Well, guys, that's Tesla. Uh, I did a video on QQ and SPY already. Uh, check that out on my channel. Yeah, you would better understand. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go here on QQ and SPY. I talked about it on my channel already. Now, I want to go over Neo, Zika, Xpeng, and Lee Auto as well real quick. But before that, I want to show you my dividend investing channel as well, guys, that I have. So if you want to follow along in the journey of uh, how I'm building my dividend face public facing portfolio, all the updates I do of my positions that I make or take, well, buy or sell, and dividends as how much they come in, you know, everything is being shared here on this channel. So you can find the link to this channel in the description of this video as well. So hit the like, subscribe to this channel as well if you want to follow along. All right, let's take a look at NEO very quickly, high level. So NEO has its earnings this week. They beat on the deliveries and all of that stuff came out. Um, Tesla usually, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, sorry guys if I missed it, but I didn't see any news on Tesla numbers. Or maybe they don't do monthly anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if, sorry guys, if there were numbers and I missed out, but I, I just don't see it here. Otherwise, it would have been all over in the news. So, but anyway, so yeah, NEO set record on, the, but again, all the Chinese EV makers have had good sales. Not going to give it just one off to NEO here. Um, but yeah, so technically, it's still holding about 20 days moving. I still held about $5.30. That's a good sign structure remains bullish if you break below that that's problem if you break below five dollars and thirty cents uh, let's take a look at zeker so zeker is trying to change the structure finally by getting above this level of twenty five dollars and thirty two cents and also twenty five dollars and eighty cents above this this can run up higher um otherwise yeah below uh, twenty five dollars and thirty six cents is just downside expang so expang just being sideways choppy nothing to do here leave it alone just yeah supply zone well, when I say supplies, on, I mean, it's just going sideways. Lee Auto is a beaten up right now, but this thing is always very range bound. It has done this in the past $20 back to up to $46 over and over again. Comes back down to then $20, then goes to $40. <laughs> I don't know what to <laughs> tell you on this. If you want to buy at the bottom, do whatever you want to do. But yeah, I don't trade Lee Auto. I'm just, talk I'm just showing the chart here. Um, yeah, because I'll start. I'll just start showing these Neo Zeker Xpeng Li Auto as well together with Tesla. You know, how about we take a look at Lucid as well? Let's see what Lucid is up to. So, oh, poor thing. Yeah, yeah, this thing just nah, just gets beaten up all the time. Anyways, guys, nothing to see on Lucid. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Tesla. Um, yeah, guys, that's the analysis that I want to go over. And that's pretty much it for this video. So yeah, if you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.